What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. Now for this video, we're going to be jumping into the Green Lantern 2021 Annual. Now if you haven't been keeping up with the Infinite Frontier Green Lantern line, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything that has been going on. Now with this annual edition, we are really seeing the, the birth of Jessica Cruz as a Yellow Lantern. After getting a glimpse of how she got her ring in Future State, after a seeing her slowly throughout all of the stories, popping up here in Green Lantern, popping up in the Flash comics, we're seeing her really become the Yellow Lantern that she is going to be. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we're picking up with Jessica Cruz, Yellow Lantern, now on the home world of Sinestro. Home base of the Sinestro Corps, she has brought the three lanterns that attacked her to Sinestro's front door. And of course, Sinestro, he wants to be the first one to meet these new lanterns, or at least that's what he thought he was meeting. What he did not expect was Jessica Cruz, former Green Lantern, to be here with three of his Yellow Lanterns and to have disarmed them of all of their rings. Especially Lisa Drack, his second in command. Now at first Jessica Cruz, she's trying to be very formal about it, very Green Lantern about this whole interaction. Saying that she is returning these prisoners to his custody. Now of course Drax, she's not okay with this. She's not one to surrender. She is not one to give up a fight. And this is where we see her fight back. With her fighting back, she is able to break the chain the light construct that is holding her. But not only does she break it, but she is able to wield it, to use it as a weapon. And this is just showing how Jessica Cruz has no idea what the true potential of the Yellow Lantern Ring has. Because we see Sinestro second in command send tons of snakes after her. These snakes attacking her, going up her body, neutralizing her and taking the ring off of her finger. And as Jessica Cruz slowly starts to fall asleep, she passes out right here. Sinestro wants to keep her around, believing that she has great promise of being a Yellow Lantern. He wants to see how she's going to do. And when she wakes up, she finds herself in a bed. Looking around, she finds a note next to her. This note from Sinestro saying that she is not a prisoner. She is free to come and go as she pleases. There's fresh clothes, everything is set up for her. And letting her know that when she is ready, he is ready to sit down and have a conversation with her. Now Jessica Cruz, her first initial intention in coming here is to give this ring back to him. She has no intent in keeping it. She just needed it to get out of where she was. But Sinestro, he doesn't really want her to give it back because he wants to see what her true potential is. And Jessica Cruz, she's been with the Green Lanterns long enough to, to not necessarily hear the propaganda, but have a one-sided understanding of the Yellow Lantern and the Sinestro Corps. And Sinestro, he dives a little more into his philosophy on how he sees everything, how he, how he sees the Yellow Lantern Corps as a source of good. Because all he has ever sought after is peace. Even when he was in the Green Lantern Corps, even though he was more aggressive than most of the other Green Lanterns. Because he understood that power was needed to bring this peace. Because while the Green Lantern Corps, they may be currently out of commission, this terror throughout the entire universe that is being felt, this is like a signal beacon to the Yellow Lantern Corps. This terror, this fear, it calls to the rings. Almost like an SOS for the Yellow Lantern Corps to finally be able to step up and do what Sinestro has always wanted to do. And that's to bring peace and order to the galaxy, to the universe, to the multiverse. And Jessica Cruz, she admits, you know, this ring, it scares her a little bit. But it scares her because of the possibilities of what she could do. The power that she could have. And at the end of the day, what she truly wants is to just go home. And so Sinestro, you know, saying that this is a pity, but when I do find somebody for your sector, I will just let you hand the ring to them. Because as it stands, 
He's saying that he doesn't have any spaceships or any other way to get her back home except for that yellow lantern ring. So she is going to have to wear it and she is going to have to take it back to Earth. Now, of course, this isn't something she wants to do, but she's been backed into a corner. And this is all a plan from Sinestro to try to get her to convince her to keep that ring. And she's gonna keep this ring, she just doesn't know it yet. And with her flying off, after she takes off and she's headed through space, heading light years away, she's worried about everybody right now. She's worried about Simon, all of the other lanterns, and everybody on Earth, especially with no Green Lantern Corps, she's worried about the fear that is going around. And she asked the ring to show her all of this. And it shows her this and so much more. Kind of like a sixth sense. It can detect the fear throughout the universe and it feeds it back to her. But she sees everything from dark side to regular civilians just terrified. But through all of this, she feels something very close. That something being a refugee ship. This is one of hundreds of thousands of refugee ships that have fled Oa. But it is currently headed way too fast towards Earth. On its current trajectory, it won't be able to slow down in time to be able to come to a safe landing. And we see our yellow lantern, she goes in. After doing an initial scan, she's trying to figure out what the best course of action is here. And this is when Sinestro taps into her ring, saying that he doesn't have time to explain that these people need help and they need it right now. With them currently having a radiation leak and them going on a crash course for Earth, it looks very dangerous for them. And so Jessica Cruz, she jumps into action. She puts the second command in command, saying that there is too much fear inside of their captain. Doing this, she goes to block up this radiation leak. The only issue is, on the inside, everybody is not working together. They don't understand what's about to happen. They don't understand that their lives are about to be lost. And so Jessica Cruz, she shows them exactly what is about to happen, instilling some kind of fear in them. But this fear is a good fear. It's going to help them work together and stop focusing on selfish wants and needs. And what she shows them is their transport ship completely tearing to pieces, showing that there is going to be utter destruction no matter who you are, and you're more than likely going to die if you don't work together. But while she is doing all of this, thinking that they might start working together, seeing them start to interact, this is when she gets hit by a green energy blast in the back. With our yellow lantern getting knocked down just for a second, her turning round and coming back with a fury. But that fury is being matched by jets, by fighter jets of Hal Jordan, our Green Lantern of Sector 2814. And as these two forces go in on one another, as they're about to collide, this is when they recognize one another. And it brings both of them to a dead stop. And of course, Hal Jordan, he's like, you know, what is going on right now? What are you doing here? How did all of this happen? And we get filled on in just a little information that we've already known. That Hal Jordan, he still has his power. He still has his ring. Joe, Green Lantern, she still has her power. Kelly, she still has her, her Green Lantern gauntlet. And with Joe out there trying to investigate what happened to the central battery, Hal Jordan, he's staying here to protect Earth. To protect this sector while the rest of the Green Lantern Corps is getting pieced back together. But the most important thing is how Jordan wants to know what the freak is going on with Jessica Cruz, why she is wearing a yellow lantern ring. Now, how Jordan almost immediately treats her like an enemy, believing that he is being stabbed in the back and that this refugee ship is being terrorized by a yellow lantern. And this is where we can already start to see that bias, to see how much disdain Green Lanterns have for the Yellow Lantern Corps, even when it's one of their friends like Jessica Cruz. And she lets him know, you know, this isn't something she necessarily enlisted in. This was her ticket home. This is how she had to get back. She had to do what she had to do sur to survive. After taking on three lanterns without any ring, instilling some fear and overcoming it, we see her take the yellow lantern ring and doing everything ne necessary to be able to get back to Earth. If anybody should understand that, it should be Hal Jordan. And with her having every intention of giving this ring up, 
things have changed for her because right now there are people that need help they need saving and she has the power to do it and that's exactly what she is going to do but this is where we see that refugee ship it takes off it goes off at full speed and it is headed directly into earth not really sure what is going on here Hal Jordan, he goes ahead and he decides to go find out what's going on. Maybe they're running because of the yellow lantern. So maybe if they see a green lantern, things might change. And talking to them, they learn very quickly that the second in command was actually the bad guys. The second in command were mercenaries and they were hauling some illegal content. Jessica Cruz realizing something feels off realizing that she made a mistake we see her break into the hole of the ship and she takes down all of the mercenaries almost in an instant hell jordan he goes in to try to stop her but she lets him know that she is righting her wrongs fixing the mistake by putting the second in, tr in charge in command and with them being disarmed with the legal content being put away their whole plan was to crash the the, the ship into earth and ditch out the escape pods with all of their illegal contraband. And as the two lanterns, they go and fly away, with the entire situation now being under control. Hal Jordan, he really starts to chew into her, to let her know that she messed up back there. But at the end of the day, she also did the right thing, and she saved the day. You know, and Jessica Cruz, she lets him know that she knows she messed up, and she had no intention of really keeping this ring on. But now that she has it, now that she knows what true potential she can do out here, especially with the Green Lantern Corps no longer around. She feels it's more of an obligation to keep the ring than anything else. She was so scared of the amount of damage she could do with this ring, she wasn't thinking of all the good she could do with it as well. But she has no intention of staying here and protecting Hal Jordan's sector. And she's kind of demanding, but she tells Hal Jordan that he needs to stay here because nobody is going to protect Earth more than Hal Jordan will. And she doesn't know what she's going to do. She doesn't know what her purpose is yet, but as it stands, the whole the whole universe is feeling vulnerable to her. But she knows with this ring, with this power, she's going to be able to make some change. And she's not naive enough to believe that Sinestro is all this peace and empathy loving guy. That he's not the individual that's going to, to rain down happiness to all of the people. But maybe, just maybe, she can be that person. And so making her decision, she heads back to the Sinestro Corps. Heading back to Sinestro, they sit down and they have a conversation about her keeping the ring. Now Sinestro, he kind of had a feeling that this was going to happen. Believing that she had promise, believing that she could be an individual to help him create this new Lantern Corps, create this new image for his core. He sent her out there knowing that she would return, knowing that she could not resist the opportunity to help people. And Jessica tells him straight up, I'm not swearing any kind of oath to you or to your core or anything like that. I am here strictly to help people. And if you step out of line, I will be coming for you as well. If you turn out to be the monster, the bad guy, then you and I are going to have some words. And so we see Jessica Cruz officially join the Yellow Lantern Corps, officially joining the Sinestro Corps. And with Jessica Cruz charging up her ring, it is time to light one candle at a time. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This has been a really interesting story. We've gotten a lot of a lot of understanding of why Jessica Cruz is now a Yellow Lantern. And I know the first initial reaction by a lot of individuals is this is not something they were happy about. But with all of the events that have transpired, I'd say it would make the most sense. Not necessarily the fact that she was able to outmaneuver three Yellow Lanterns. Not only that, a second in command to Sinestro without a ring. That's a little far-fetched to me, but for the sake of the story, we'll say okay. But with the Green Lantern Corps now being shut down, and a lot of our Lanterns no longer having the powers or abilities of the ring, and having so many Lanterns now, you can't make all of them without powers or abilities. That's why we're seeing how Jordan, Kelly, Joe, and now Jessica Cruz all have a ring or ring powers of some sort. There are very few stories that we're actually getting from the Green Lantern Corps 
that are actually without rings. Jon Stewart being one of them. Kyle Rayner also had a story in the future state of Venom as well. And so for the central battery being shut down and the Green Lantern Corps essentially being disbanded, we still have a couple of Green Lanterns going on and I'm really excited to see how it all unfolds. To see what happened to the central battery, to see if they had something to do with Darkseid or something even deeper. Maybe it's, it's Sinestro at the end of the day pulling at the strings and pretending to be the good guy. But I think this is a good direction to go. Not knowing if Future State is going to come true, not knowing if she's going to hold on to the Yellow Lantern, it's going to be really interesting to see her story progress and see where she lands on the other side. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.